Hi everybody, cross elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of quantity demanded of one good or service given a change in price of another. So looking at XCD gives us two key pieces of information. First thing we can work out is whether the goods are related to each other, i.e. whether they are substitute goods or whether they are complementary goods. Very important information there. But we can also work out with the figure just how closely related they are, strongly or weakly. Here is the equation for XCD. It's the percentage change in quantity demanded of good A over the percentage change in price of good B. So again, we've got percentage changes. That's the equation for percentage change. Difference between two numbers over the original number times by 100. Once we know percentage changes, we put them straight in there. And we get two very important pieces of info. First of all, we get the sign, i.e. whether XCD is positive or negative, and then we get the figure. If the XCD figure is positive, it means that the two goods are substitute goods. That makes a lot of sense using the equation, because if the price of a substitute goes up, quantity demanded for the other will go up as well. Positive, positive gives a positive number. Whereas if the price of a substitute goes down, quantity demanded for the other will go down. Negative, negative gives a positive. So a positive number means they are substitute goods we're working with. Whereas if the figure is negative, it's complementary goods we're working with. If the price of a complement goes up, positive, demand for the other will go down, negative. We get a negative number. Because if the price of a complement goes down, quantity demanded for the other will go up. We end up with a negative number. So negative is complement. It's a nice little memory device for you here. Just think, party season near Christmas. Party season means it's almost Christmas. We're near Christmas. Party season near Christmas. Positive, substitute, negative, complement. Party season near Christmas. And you will get it right every time. To the day, I still use that. It's very helpful. Party season near Christmas. Positive, substitute, negative, complement. Great stuff. Okay, so that's how we work out whether the goods are substitutes or complements. Then the figure. So once we have worked out the nature of the goods, we can ignore the sign completely. Just look at the raw number. If that number is greater than 1, it means that demand between the goods is price elastic. That means when the price of one good uh, changes, a quantity demanded for the other will change proportionally more than the change in price of the other. They are strongly related to substitutes or complements, we would say here. So we can add that phrase on at the end. We've got to make sure that we say demand between the goods. That's the point, isn't it? Um, demand between the goods here is price elastic. If the figure is less than one, Remember, ignoring the sign, if the raw figure is less than one, demand between the goods is price inelastic. So as the price of one good uh, changes, quantity demanded for the other will also change for proportionally less than the change in price of the first good. They are weakly related goods here, weakly related complements or substitutes, we would say. And that's the phraseology there. And then zero means that demand between the goods is perfectly price inelastic. There is no relationship at all between these goods. So take like, I don't know, printers and shoes. If the price of printers goes up, it's not going to affect the quantity demand of shoes at all, is it? So there'll be no relationship between those goods. But for complements and substitutes, first of all, we'll find out if they are complements and substitutes, and then we'll see just how closely related they are. A great way to make sure you're confident with this is with examples. Let's do some calculations together. So let's take number one. The price of printers goes up from £50 to £60. That's a 20% increase in the price of printers. If you can't see that clearly, use the equation. The difference is 10 the original is 50 times by 100, 20% increase. You've got to keep the sign in because we know how important the sign is at the end. So leave the sign in the equation when you're doing it. Quantity demanded of printer ink goes down from 100 to 50. That's clearly a 50% decrease there. Leave the sign in again. And then we can work out the final figure is minus 2.5. Isolate the sign. We know that negative means complement. So these goods are complementary goods. Then we can ignore the sign. Because the figure is greater than 1, we can say demand between these goods is price elastic, i.e. they are closely related complement goods. And that means that as the price, in this case, of printers goes up, quantity demanded of printer ink goes down, but proportionally greater than the increase in price of printers. Let's take number 2 now. So the price of a MacBook Pro goes up from £1,000 to £1,500. That, again, is very clearly an increase in price of 50% of MacBook Pros. Quantity demanded of Sony Vio goes up from 200 to 220. Um, so if you can't see that's 10%, use the equation. Difference is 20 divided by the original, which is 200, times by 100. Keep the sign in. 
That's a plus here of 10%. Do the equation and we get plus 0.2 as our final figure. Isolate the sign. The sign is positive. That means that these goods are substitute goods. Then you can ignore the sign. The figure is less than 1. That means demand between these goods is price inelastic. That means they are weakly related substitutes. In this case, what does that mean in words? That means that as the price of MacBook Pros goes up, quantity demand of Sony buyers will go up, but proportionally less than the increase in price of MacBook Pros. That's what you've got to say. Simple, let's go back now and look at diagrams. When showing XCD on diagrams, guys, the best thing to do is to have the price of one good on the y-axis and quantity of the other good on the x-axis. So for complements, my example is this, price of razors, and then on the x-axis, the quantity of the razor blades. Okay? For a complementary goods, uh, will be a downward sloping demand curve. Given that we've got two different goods on the axis, it will be a downward sloping demand curve because there is an inverse relationship between the price of a complement and quantity demanded of the other complement. So downward sloping demand curve, if they are very closely related complements, you would draw a shallow demand curve here. If they are weakly related complements, x is less than one, you would draw a steep looking demand curve here. And that makes total sense. So if they are weakly related, then take my example here, as the price of raises decreases, Quantity demanded of razor blades will increase, but proportionally less than the fall in price of razors themselves. Whereas with a shallow demand curve like this, as the price of razors decreases, quantity demanded of razor blades will increase proportionally more than the decrease in price of razors. So that's clearly shown with these kind of curves. If we look at substitutes, which will have a positive XCD, positive relationship, I've taken the price of a Big Mac here and quantity of a Whopper substitute goods here, two different goods on the axis but they are positively related, i.e. price of uh, one good and quantity demand of the other, positively related. So weirdly, our demand curve is going to be upward sloping. Don't let that confuse you. That's only because we've got two different goods on the axis, okay? But if you had to show XCD on a diagram, this is what you draw. And again, for a strongly related substitute, shallow. For weakly related substitute, steep, for exactly the same reasons as before. So just in case you had to show this on a diagram, you have to draw these, or you have maybe some multiple choice questions or something, or just your own interest, these are the diagrams that you need. That covers XED perfectly. Stay tuned for the next video. We've got YED to come next.